All right, guys, so first things first is we are going to put your windows down on the front doors. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because when you pull the door panels off, you're going to want to be able to take and reach through to hold the mirror because you don't want that mirror to fall, especially your brand new ones. You don't want them to fall and break. So uh, we're going to put the windows down. And then with either an eight millimeter or a five sixteenths wrench, you're going to pop the hood and disconnect the negative terminal off of your battery. We're gonna be doing some electrical work. And the last thing you want is um, either for you yourself to get shocked or to cause some electrical issues in your truck. So go ahead and disconnect that negative battery and then we'll start taking this door panel off. All right, so I have another video on the channel that shows you how to do this, but I'm gonna show you again anyway. So in order to get this door panel off, start with a small, flat head screwdriver and you're going to take and pop the cover off of that Torx head. You're going to take a pair of trim tool pliers and on this just put the thing behind there, press down, presses out. It's one of those little Christmas tree fittings. Put all these to the side where you don't lose them. And now we can get the rest of it off. So we're gonna start by taking off, using our flathead screwdriver, and just popping out that lock mechanism. That will reveal seven millimeter bolt there. We have another seven millimeter here. And we're also gonna take that screwdriver and pop this cover off of the door handle. And that will reveal a 10 millimeter right there. So, We'll take the 10 first. And pull that out. All right, now for the sevens. Again, one right below where the handle sits. Now some guys think that you can do this just by pulling your switch panel. You cannot do that. There's a screw that goes up through the front to hold it in place. And if you just pull that panel out, you break the plastic around that screw. And then that doesn't, that panel doesn't want to sit in there properly anymore. And it'll bounce around and wiggle around and it can come loose. It's not what you want. So it's still in there just a little bit. down into the door pocket it goes. Now just remember, your long seven millimeter is the one that goes up the handle. Your short one is the one that comes up here by the door lock. Now, one last thing you need to do to get this off is take and pull this cover off. And as you can see, it literally just pulls off. It's got a tab at the bottom that sits behind here and then two clips that go into those slots and then we're just going to take this foam out and we have three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the mirror on but we have to take the door panel off first because we have to get this wire loom out of the way to get to this corner in order to get the door panel off we also need like i said we need to take this torx head out so do that and this is a t20 torx And now, all we have to do is take and lift up on the door panel, and it all comes off, just like that. Now, door panel's not gonna go anywhere just yet because we have a couple wiring connections. There are two, uh, I'm sorry, there are three on the back of the, um, on, the on the underside of this switch, uh, and then there is one right down here for your light. Uh, the light's real easy, that's just a quick little pull out. There's that one. And then these ones on the door panel, on the inside of them, let me see if I can move the camera here. Without dropping it. Ah, there we go. You can see them. We got one, 
two and three right there. Uh, those are just going to have those little press buttons on them. You can see it right there. You can see that little press button. And you're just going to press that and then pull this out. So we're going to do that and then we'll have this off. So I apologize, everybody. There are actually four connections. You have one, two, three that all have this little press button on there. Uh, you can see this one as well. But then this one actually, ooh, that's really kind of pulling on that, isn't it? So let me lift this up just a little. There we go. Take a little tension off that line. This one you have that gray tab. And you actually need to take and there's a little press tab right here. It's kind of hard to do one handed, but you press that down. Let's see here. I can't really set up my camera anywhere. But you're going to press this tab, this little black tab down, and then this gray clip will flip down and that will release this. So, uh, let's see if I can maybe do this here. Let's see. I'm going to try it. There we go. Hopefully you guys saw that. And then that'll just slide right up. And what makes it really nice is that these are all labeled for you. You have black, green, blue, your PDM, and black. And it also says black on there. So uh, you kind of, it's kind of a cheat, so you know exactly what you're going to be doing. As you can see right here, here's that screw I was telling about, telling you about that holds this panel in, and then it's got a clip all the way up here that holds it in. And a lot of people think it's just those clips, and if you pull that clip out, you end up breaking the plastic plastic that this screw is set into. So that's why you don't want to just rip those out. That's why you want to actually take the door panel fully off in order to get those out. And now that that's off, now we can take care of this wiring. So you can see uh, that blue and black uh, that plug in to the bottom of your switch where it says blue and black. Um, those you can see, these are those white clips that I was telling you about that always break. And these are where those little black ones that they gave us will replace them. So we can actually take that trim tool and pop these out and replace them, which is really nice. So let's get this mirror off by taking these 10 millimeter bolts off. So before I take this mirror off, uh, I just thought of this, and that is, this is just the standard mirror. Uh, it's a power heated mirror uh, with a turn signal. You can see the turn signal in the mirror kind of right here and everything. But this is the view you would normally have looking out of the vehicle and everything. So, uh, I mean, you can see all the junk I've got in my backyard here. But, I mean, it's, it's a standard mirror view. No big deal. Once we get this tow mirror on here, you're really going to see a difference. So, let's get those three 10 millimeters out. We'll get this mirror out of here and let you guys see this difference. Alright, so, like I said, 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to take and just one. It's actually just the nuts, not the bolts. Which, with that, kind of be careful when you're removing them because you don't want to drop them. Uh, granted, yes, uh, the mirrors come with replacement ones, but you can also reuse these ones. And that's probably what I'm going to do only because these have a nice fl uh, large body washer on them. And it just spreads that load out uh, for the mirror itself. The mirror just sagged a little bit. But I'm not worried about that because it also has these little white clips. So we're just gonna, this is where having your window open is huge. I can just go take, grab the mirror, and then just push those clips out. And then get those out of the way. of the mirror without it falling to the ground and voila and just so you guys can see what I'm talking about so this is the factory mirror nut this is the replacement one now you can see it's got the teeth on it for it to be a non-slip but look at that difference this built-in body washer on this nut does a lot more for surface than this one. And with the extra weight of the tow mirror, I would much rather have a wider body washer. So uh, Yida, 
great job on that that is a really good addition that you guys have there uh, but factory nuts are pretty good to go with uh, so yeah all right let's get this mirror on here so we're gonna take off these little thread protectors now this wire has got to have a way to come through here so I think we're gonna have to cut a hole in this so I'm gonna take my screwdriver just kind of tear a hole oh yay so easy now I can fish these wires through like so and make sure that that is lined up and oh, look at that it's so pretty all right let's get put on Need the harness 